before we begin, I take the privilege to ask for prayers for Mary, the mother of Anna Bish. She died Saturday, 1st February. She joined the Lord after her long journey here on earth. We rejoice that she has finally taken her eternal rest and her reward with her great love, Jesus Christ, and joined her husband and her many loves for pets. We mourn with Anna and her children and her husband. But we know that Mary will be happy, comfortable, and in no pain now. Our lesson of reflection is one that I am most serious about. It is honouring the gifts of all of those we know. The Lord said, no prophet is accepted in his or her native place. They can work their miracles everywhere else because there is faith in them. But everywhere they grow up, they will be forever the carpenter's son, Joseph's son, Mary's boy, and never identified for his or her own gifts. This is true of each of us as well, here in this generation, in this world, in this time, when we see those we knew growing up, if they have exceeded our beliefs of them, or if they have exceeded their place in society as we knew them, their accomplishments will not be accepted. Their gifts will be laughed at. Even though be they be highly lauded around the world, everywhere but here, never in their own town are their accomplishments or gifts ever openly accepted, ever truly accepted. True quotes. Mike became an astronaut. Oh, hell, he's always been such a space oddity. Ha, 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 ground control to Major Mike. Do you have your helmet on? Remember how he'd forget his backpack everywhere? He'd have forgotten his head if it hadn't been attached. These are actual comments to a reporter of one of the original Apollo astronauts. Identical 27 years later to the commander of the Space Shuttle Enterprise. Though we are on Facebook, we are still in our hometown and many of your childhood friends cast doubts and aspersions on the gifts you've either developed or been allowed to come out since you last saw these people. These are the gifts that were given to you by God and you've since developed, or the gifts you've developed that were previously given you. It is only the people of your new communities, those whom you met in or after college, once you were an adult, that accept you fully gifted, fully developed. And some of us have gifts still developing, strengthening every day, and we only show these to a select few, those we know who will believe. I suffer many who doubt me. They doubt my skill at weather, though I prove myself every single day. They doubt my skill at medical, though I prove myself study after study after study. They doubt my intelligence. They doubt my gift of sight. But what must I do to prove that I have these gifts, though I can tell them things that I could not know about their lives, about their people, People I could not ever have met, and yet they still doubt. They still cast aspersions. That 
is what the Lord deals with. That is what every gifted person deals with. And it is a sin that all of you bear. Look at your circle of friends. Look to name the gifts each of them has. Do it during this week and this month. The gifts given by God, born with and developed over their lifetime, like intelligence, beauty, sweet personality, a wonderful parent, a great leader of pe persons, etc., versus gifts they've created and developed as they grew up, often out of the other gifts, professions from degrees out of their intelligence and personality, a business based on their personality and baking acumen built up over every over years of being everyone's go-to caterer, etc. Honour those gifts, whether given by God or developed by hard work of the individual. No gift is unworthy. No skill is unnecessary. Who would have known 20 years ago when I started working on the weather modelling process and refining it that this was a gift of God, that this was such a savant-like skill that he gave me that it would assist the world in looking for hurricanes, save lives. Who knew, as you tinkered with computers in your garage or basement in high school, that this was a gift from God? You had to slowly grow into, test your wings as such. Then one day all would snap together in your mind, all the previous work all the classes, and then you were suddenly the person to see about any issue with computer, hardware or software. Any issue. You worked out the hardware on your side, but God gave you the light on the software. You always hated book learning. Honor your gifts and those and others. This month, this year, notice the skills See and hear their gifts. Honor them for God.